Thank you very much. I'm actually uh, quite excited today. My uh, name is Osama and I'm originally from Egypt. So I came to the UK um, as a student back in 2010. I came originally to study English, but things changed a little bit slightly after that. Starting from 2011, um, a revolution happened in Egypt and the situation started getting a little bit upside down. And in 2013, a military coup happened. And uh, my family are uh, politically involved, which put my life at risk. Hence, I applied for a political refugee in 2013. I tried my best there, but the life became too unbearable that it was either quit living or quit living here. So I took the second option. Everyone who is coming from a different lifestyle, or I would say for me, it was a different planet actually. That's how it felt to me. <laughs> when I came here, I was surprised why this stuff is not turning on. And I burnt my hand because it was no fire showing. <laughs> so for me, this is an example that how I started life here. That stuff only burnt my hand. But the other experiences with people being exploited burnt my heart and my soul. They are not aware of the laws, regulations, rights, responsibilities. We don't even know that what is minimum wage when we come to this country. If they can attend the course that I attended just now, Know Your Rights, it's superb. So the program began in 2017 and it was really identifying this gap we were seeing that when asylum seekers were first arriving in the country, people really didn't understand what their rights were. One of the key pillars of this program is that it is a program run for refugees by refugees in each jurisdiction that we run it in. We always hire um, some of the refugee background to help us project manage. Refugee Council is a leading charity which supports refugees in the UK to rebuild their lives. DNA um, and Refugee Council have been working together to deliver seven weeks of legal rights courses which have been really beneficial to our clients. This is something that will empower them to stand up for themselves, to be able to negotiate, to be able to recognise when they may be discriminated or in any other cases where otherwise they wouldn't be able to know how or where to go, where to look for help. The opportunities we have here to get involved in the various pro bono programs are wide and are really important. As part of the collaboration with a client of ours, Dentsu Aegis, we were asked to give a session to a group of refugees on access to healthcare and their rights. It gives us the opportunity to do something a bit different and to remind us kind of what's really important and, and to give back. The whole experience was very humbling. It was a real pleasure to deliver the session and it's definitely one that I would like to be involved with going forward. Um, guys, it's so good to see everyone today for the last session of Know Your Rights. Look around the room, it's totally cool. We've got a really interesting session today about Brexit and the election. It was amazing actually, everyone telling us how useful the sessions were. People are, are like, improving, they learn a lot, they become like more self-confident and I hope they will be able to advocate for themselves in the future. Yeah, and this is the aim of the program. I found it so incredible, so useful for me and I would, I would say thank you so much indeed. <laughs> After this program now I will become really understand clear what is my rights in UK. My journey has been long, has been difficult. The person in front of you at the moment is not necessarily the person who started the journey. Now the level of, level of confidence that I got is really high thanks to the team of Refugee Council, thanks to the DLA Piper, thanks to Olivia, thanks to Omaima together you can bring a lot of successful stories such as mine.